All right, we're all here now. You guys ready to play D&D? Yeah, I'm let's scared. get the, the okay. fuck out of this fish hole. <laughs> That's what I've titled the episode, Escape from the Fish Hole. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, what, last time we left off, uh, I believe uh, there's a bunch of dead people. Uh, you guys are dragging bodies behind you trying to escape. Chris murdered some stuff. Um, Layla died and Ira sacrificed herself to resurrect her somehow. Yeah. Literally fell on Layla's sword, uh, which she lifted, uh, which is of note. And then the last thing that happened here was you guys were running down the tunnel as quickly as you could, dragging a bunch of unconscious people. I think you have four, actually. I said three, but I think you have four. I think yeah. there were three. Ira, the kid, people. and the two bodies that were in the yeah. tanks. Oh, so those bodies aren't alive anymore? Uh, oh, they're no, alive. They're, they're just all unconscious. Because uh, if you're you're telling me that just to be like, oh, they're alive, but alive with uh, nematodes. <laughs> <laughs> At least it only chases that evil. evil. My, my dog farted so bad. Talk about evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord, buddy. What did you, what did I, say? I gotta stop feeding him cheese. Um, <laughs> Jesus Heart. Christ. Um, anyway, no, they are alive, but unconscious and require, like, they're gonna require, like, a long-term medical treatment. Yeah. Um, so, but the last thing that happened was you guys fled down this tunnel. You know, there's more people at the end of the tunnel, but behind you, Kelric has cast Wall of Thorns. Um, oh, phew. And I, mm-hmm. I need to look up the spell all of there, which is going to buy you guys some time, uh, or at least room to flee. Uh, dexterity saving throw, or it takes 78 slashing damage. So one of these guys is in this wall, and I need to know how big the wall actually is. Uh, five feet wide. It's five and feet it's wide, but how long is it? 20 feet. 40? 20? 20. Uh, 60 feet. It's 60 feet long, 10 feet high, and 5 feet thick. So 60 feet long. So we were both wrong, but if you add up our wrongness, it is right. Uh, that's 60 So two feet. wrongs. Do make a right, just this once. It's gonna be like, that's like 60 feet. <laughs> so three, four, four of these guys need to make saving throws. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to make my own cotton safe by the end of the night. I just got a bag of candy in. Uh, oh, you mean IRL? <laughs> what kind? Two, oh, fuck, I'm big. Three. What's the. What's the. Pez. What is it? What is it? Uh, uh, Pez. Uh. <laughs> Only was- one of them passed, so can you go ahead and roll damage for me, Kat? <laughs> okay. 78. Oh, wow. Which is, oh. I think, the same thing that killed Layla. No. So- <laughs> How ironic. <laughs> uh, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> She's alive again. Ah, oh, man. You- That's a lot of ones. Yeah. yeah not great. Fuck. So- <laughs> Come on, thornies. But this guy will take 18. <laughs> this guy will take 18. This guy will take 18. And this guy will take 9. Cool. All right, so the Wall of Thorns sprouts up behind you guys. Uh, Layla is pouring tears over the apparently unresurrectable Ira. You have four unconscious people or dead people. You're not sure that you're trying to get out of here, and you know what is ahead of you. There, there are more creatures further down this tunnel. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Are we in initiative uh, still? No. Uh, not right now. I would like to do pass without trace and see if it's possible. Nice. Do you think we might be able to sneak by people? We can uh, try. You're 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 going to be having four people that you're going to be dragging, which means so it's half movement when you're sneaking, half movement because you're carrying somebody along with you. So the four people that are pulling people along are going to have, um, I don't know if they'll have disadvantage on their save stealth checks. I don't know about that, but they will be moving like five feet a turn, really slowly. 
Oh, no, 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 no. If we got to get out of here fast. So the, the option is to try to, like, sneak out and risk the dudes ripping through the wall of thorns and catching up with you, or try to um, try to run and, and have to fight. Run and gun. Do we have time None. to roll hit die? Do you think? I mean, no. I love you guys. But no. But that's a terrible <laughs> idea. Don't take a short rest. Don't try to take a short rest. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Let's they would the... totally eat us alive. Uh, Wall of Thorns only lasts ten minutes. <laughs> so let's go. All right. So, uh, just like you know, like as a reminder, there are a lot of people at the front of this, like SA four or five, and I think we can take him if we run. But if we sneak, we yeah. will be caught. Feel better. So Good I think point. We should not sneak. Yeah, so we I should mean, just. I like, should sneak. Run out and get You can see me. Yeah. Uh, your extra bonus is not in that healing word spell. Okay. Um. It's like two plus the spell's level or something. And it also high. Yeah, I was trying yeah. to wave at her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She can't actually see you. I'm like, yeah. my, my big body is blocking that side of the screen. Ugh. As always, cat. Yeah, it's an, <laughs> I think it's an extra two. I gotta try to find those. It's things. something for me. I think it's the spell level. level. I don't remember, but it's not in that spell. Yeah, it's two plus the spell's level, so that's plus yeah. five. So for twelve, tw total twelve for six targets. Oh, because that's mass healing word. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Um, okay. So I think it's just Layla one. sobbing. She's like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> um. So everybody gets twelve hit points back. Eight. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, how many people are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, exactly. Cool. So, what do you guys want to do? Did I say um, get... Run. I don't, I don't think think I have health points. Like, hmm? right now it's saying I have 41. I can't be right. That sounds about right. Really? Yeah. Okay. Escape! Just... You guys are level <laughs> 7, so... I mean, I did a lot of healing last couple okay, of cool. rounds. Well, I'm back at. So are you guys cool. running? What? Yeah, yeah. I'm running. running. I don't know about y'all, but I'm running. Is anyone gonna carry some bodies or? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I, I, I yeah. can. I could probably actually carry two. So I'm. Uh, I'll carry Ira after. because I can dash. So. Oh. Um, but yeah, I can carry one. I don't know. I don't think Layla's gonna let go of Ira, so... Okay. Oh. I'll carry... one. Buster has the boat child. Yes! For some reason, it keeps saying that my total HP is 30, but it's not. Uh, what is your total? 45. That's what it says on your token. Really? Oh. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I, I can I can pick up two. Apparently, my race can carry up to about 480 pounds. Oh. Yeah, it's still going to make you move half speed, but... I mean, as, uh, that's one less person to move half speed, and I'm okay with that. I mean, if you're sure you don't want me to carry anybody... Defend! Defend me! <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll, so, I'll, uh... Buster. Oh, I don't know what's going on with this token, Buster. Hang on. Really? It's not... Yeah, 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 hang on. It's it, it is wrong. I was on another page looking at your token. There you go. Now it says forty-five. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> uh, cool. So Chris is not carrying anyone. Buster has the kid from the boat. Um, the two unconscious people or the people that you saved were being carried by Kelric and Layla has Ira. It's probably for the best because you have to concentrate to keep all the thorns up. And then you're not, you're not, um, you're not sneaking, right? You guys are just rushing into the next room or you're just bolting down the tunnel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to get the fuck out. Okay. Uh, you can. So it's it's like a thirty, forty foot tunnel, if I remember correctly, and it narrows down at one point where you have to crawl. 
so it narrows down then opens back up um so as you guys it, it's probably going to take you because you're pulling the bodies and stuff along with you i'm going to say it's going to take you 5 minutes to get through that narrow ass tunnel uh, 5 minutes like yeah, pull a bunch of unconscious people through a, you've been caving you know how this works you don't want to be dragging an unconscious person along with you i know that's <laughs> like 50 rounds of combat or something ridiculous <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I will let you guys go ahead, uh, as you come bursting out of the other side, the Kuatoa that was up on patrol turns and sees you come scrambling out of the rock, uh, lets out a, a fishy war cry. Uh, we're gonna roll initiative, but you guys, I want you guys to go ahead and position your tokens wherever you want to be when you come out. I'll be in the back, so... I will be yeah. at the front, ready to stab. This seems appropriate. I rolled it at one of my initiative. Oh. <laughs> I didn't roll much better. I rolled a two. I mean, you're also. Wait, no. Are you carrying someone? No. 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 So. Okay. Uh, I think everybody's in there. We've got Curtis, we've got Kelrick, we've got Joyden, we've got Chris, we've got Layla, we've got Buster. Everybody's in there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Curtis, you get to react first. Uh, you come bursting out of the hole, scramble up into your feet, sort of stumble forward. You see this creature's buggy, weird eyes lock onto you. It, it hurls vehemently uh, uh, what you think is some kind of curse at you and begins to ready its weapon. Um, saliva and the smell of fish just like waving off of it well hopefully this works I'm going to try using sleep on them uh okay I'm going to assume you're going to cast it back behind him some more so it doesn't hit the party yeah uh unfortunately he has vastly more than 35 hit points it has oh, oh dear god damn it uh, so the wave of shimmering energy passes over him. He blinks that like weird like extra eyelid because he can't actually close his eyes, <laughs> um, but is still standing. Oh, I hate these things. Anything else you want to do? Um. Well, choo -choo 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 -choo. not unless I can ready my sword or anything, but. I mean, you can whip it out, sure. All right. Okay. Uh, I Buster. whip it out. Yeah, it whip. swings, sings in the air, makes a pleasant harp-like humming noise. So, Buster? I'm going to... <laughs> the look of focus on Rachel's fucking face. <laughs> 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 I didn't even notice. I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> so fucking serious. Sorry, I do that. Now I know oh, what Rachel okay. looks like when she poops. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know what I look like when I poop. Okay, uh, <laughs> out, a, a 15 will hit, so you hurl a uh, orb of red energy. It crashes into it. Tendrils begin eating away at its flesh. Go ahead and roll a damage. I think um, since I'm past 5th level, I can do 2d10, right? Uh, it should automatically do it. So if you click it, it should... Oh, right. It should, the character sheet should update itself. Cool. Uh, oh! It did not. It rolled one. Oh. Uh, so go ahead, and, go ahead and roll again. Just do damage again. Okay. Uh, and I'll, I'll look at the... Buster! What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Alright, well... He, did he roll really bad? Hang on, yeah, I look it up the spell to see. Da 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 da. Oh no, you can do throw two beams, so you throw two of them. Oh, so you would make beams. two attacks. Oh. So oh. We, we will remember that for future reference. Right now, he's just going to take the five damage. Uh, okay. Did you want to move at all, Buster? Yeah, I want to keep scooting towards the entrance. Is my uh, is my movement halved because of uh, carrying? If you're carrying someone, yeah. 
Okay, well then I'll move my 15 feet over the, you know. Okay, over, go ahead and move yeah. your token and I'll, I'll move the unconscious. Okay, kid. all right. I'll put him there. All right. <clears throat> Uh, is it's kind of scary. scooting like a crab. Okay, so Buster throws the uh, uh, Eldritch Blast at one of these dudes uh, and begins running away. This guy rushes forward. He can He has no ranged attack, so he's just going to run up to Buster, and that'll be his turn. Joyden. How oh, cool. Uh, right. There's just like a uh, sound of like his wet feet, like pop, 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 on the stone floor. <laughs> uh, since it's um, uh, I want to attack this one. Um, sure. Since it's 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 in range with Buster, so it's I won't get sneak attack. Yes, you will. Yep, yep. Yeah. If I hit, uh, twenty one uh-huh. definitely hit. Hell yeah. Uh, 20... 26. 26. No, uh, yeah, 26. I was like, it should be more than that. It should okay. be, but lousy sneak attack. <clears throat> you rolled a, a 1, a 4, a 5, and a 5. <laughs> you rolled really well on that sneak attack. Oh, oh okay. So <laughs> I, I only see 15, and it's in If red, you mouse so... over the number, it'll, it, it'll show like rolling 46. Oh, okay. It'll okay. show you what the dice actually are. Oh, that's how the other day when when Susie got laser beam, Sydney was like, "You rolled like three eights." <laughs> she was looking at it. Okay, so the creature rushes up to Buster, and then you see its shoulder just recoil back as a uh, icicle arrow embeds into its body, and the its right arm just begins to freeze and kind of go limp. Um, it is Thank still standing, you. but that that hurt it. It didn't keep like your it. hands off him. Uh, you want to? Do you want to move at all, Joyden? <laughs> uh, I'll take ten steps forward. So just to there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thank Layla. you, Joyden. <laughs> Thread the needle. Um, <laughs> Layla's gonna move up her 15 feet. Mm-hmm. Dragon Miss Ira behind. Okay. She's still streaming tears. As she pulls the sword out of Iris' chest, and oh, I'm assuming you did that a while ago. It. And then okay. she's gonna have bonus action turn on the Fidelius. Okay. Oh my god! I hope you're not treating Iris like a sheath. And then she's gonna stab a guy. Okay. Oh, it was almost a twenty. With a two. Uh, it, it rolled wait, wait. up. Inspiration. She's gonna okay. Use her inspiration. I was, I was. I have the 3D dice turned on, and it landed on a 20 for a second, and then kicked over to a two. No, that sucked. Uh, 13 will hit. <laughs> All right. For eight. So uh, you rush up, rip the blade out, the fire flicks across it, you swing it down into this the creature, um, and it bites deep, leaving a, a burn mark, a virtual dice jail. Um, Kelric, it is your turn, sir. All right, I'm going to spend, I'm just going to basically spend my turn moving. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> Pew! And taking my my peoples with me, yes. <laughs> that, that's that. That's Keller that's me. just rushes by, uh, pushing his way through the group. Uh, two unconscious people on his shoulders. Um, the whips. These guys have more interesting things they can do. Um, I need. Since I think most people can catch up with me with half of their turn. Buster, sorry, not Buster. Yeah, no, Buster, yeah. Chris, and Curtis to all make charisma saving throws. Oof. Oh. Buster, mm. no problem. Oof. Yeah, well. Uh, Curtis, Phew. no problem. Okay, uh, Chris, you have. Uh, there's this dark energy that swims out from this creature as it finishes some kind of incantation. 
Uh-oh. Cool. And it passes over you. You feel your limbs get a little weaker. Uh, oh. Your breath comes a little shorter. shorter. Your swords feel heavy. Um, your armor weighs down on your shoulders. Uh, you have had Bane cast on you. So anytime you make an attack roll a, or a saving throw, you're going to roll a d4 and subtract it. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> These guys are assholes. Mm-hmm. Um, did I get passed up in the turn order? I don't think I took a turn. Uh, I thought you killed a guy. Did I? Then I might have skipped you. Hang on. Because uh, I don't remember you taking a turn. Yeah. Let, let me finish moving these dudes, and then you can go ahead and take your turn. Okie dokie. Okay, go for it. Wait, there's more? Ah! Wait, yeah. there's more! Yeah, no! Scrambling out of the dark, you can hear the... Oh, they're wet feet on stone. Hanging out <sighs> in the darkness, as they do, you know. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna come over to this guy. Do some... Uh, I guess my belt's not active anymore, right? Uh, I don't, I don't remember how long it lasts. I think it only lasts one minute. Yeah, no. It's, it's worn yeah. off. Okay. Uh, I'll just do some... Light. Uh, Repairing. Ooh. Stabbing. Whoa, Ooh. whoa. Yeah. Ooh. That will, I will all hit. <laughs> yes. Mm. I'm so glad that Chris mm. is on our side. 11, mm. 20, 34. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Good Man. Okay. Uh, Chris rushes up next to this one, sort of shoulders into him. Uh, and pushes him back a few steps. He stumbles on the little slope that he he's standing on, whips around to try to face her. She knocks the weird pincer staff he holds out out of his hands, stabs him in the eye, rips the rapier out as one comes out, the other one passes into his throat, rips that one out, and as one comes out, the other one pierces his breastbone. <laughs> Three quick blows, and he just <laughs> falls dead, uh, completely limp. Uh, now let me finish taking their turn. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Kind of. Uh, this one is going to summon a laser eye. Mm-hmm. Um, so Chris, I need you to make a deck save, and you will have the D four for this. Okay. And then. Yeah, well. <laughs> okay, well, you take five points of damage. Okay. Uh, this one has to use his whole turn to move. Um, this one is going to pincer maneuver. Oh. Oh, Kurt. Bring it, bitches. <laughs> uh, an eight is not going to hit you, is it, Curtis? Nope. Okay, so the, it rushes forward with one of these, like, crab claw staffs, and it click um, snaps in front of you. You sort of leap back as it sticks Ooh. right in front of your throat. Um, can I, can Curtis, who's a, who's proficient in Arcana? Oh, really Have proficiency in Arcana. I do. Okay, can, can I, uh... Kelrick, I'm gonna have you make a nature check. Uh, Curtis and Buster, if you're proficient in Arcana, can I have you guys make Arcana checks? Yeah. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Um, Kelrick, you don't know much about these creatures, like like what they are, how their society works, or why they're fucking laying tadpoles in people's faces. All of that seems real weird. Uh, but these giant, like, crab claw staff things that they're using, these are not, like, it, it's not, um, like, a freshwater crab. Like, whatever, because they're literally, like, big giant crab claws on the end of a pole that they have, like, a thing that the trigger they pull that makes them close, and that's what they've been using to sort of grab you guys with. Um, it's, but it's not, there's no way that's a freshwater crab. It's a giant-ass crab claw it has to be from salt water. It's this probably from deep ocean too, because it's this dark or um this like pale color, like things that don't see light very often. 
Um, so it strikes you in this moment, seeing Curtis leap back from this thing, it strikes you as odd that these things are so far up this river in fresh water. Uh, they shouldn't be here. It's unnatural. It is unnatural. <laughs> uh, and that'll be the Kuatoa's turn, which makes it Curtis's turn. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see if this hits. Uh, yes, a 15 will hit. Yay. Um, I have to roll. D6 plus 2. Just click on Myth Carver in the chat, it'll roll it for you. Oh, nice. I didn't even know that. There you go. Poke. Yeah, so you jump back from the staff, sort of parry it off to the side, and flick Myth Carver out. It makes a wobbly. Whenever um, Curtis swings this sword around, have you ever seen somebody play a saw? Yeah. You hear that like wobbly, high pitched, like sing songy sound? It's sort of like that. It's this, but it's a little higher. It's this like piercing, strange note. Uh, but you do stab into the thing. It leans back and you nick it across the cheek, like opening a big wound across the side of its face. And you just see blood and slobber begin to run down its face. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, like, Never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sword, all excited. Uh, did you want to move at all, Curtis? You'll take an attack of opportunity if you do. Uh, yeah, I'll try and move away from it, because I want out of the cave. Uh, okay. Uh, it will try to get you with its pincer. Uh, does a 12 hit? Nope. Okay. Uh, Curtis. Oh, you mean? Oh, you mean me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, can I use my? Uh, oh God, yeah. Bust, why do I do that? <laughs> it's been like we've been playing these characters for like eight months. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'd like to uh, try using Joyden's magical boots of striding uh, and springing to try to have like normal speed. No, it'll, it'll still be halved. Yeah. Oh, so I can't jump like a frog with, uh, with this kid. Technically, the way those boots work, they can't increase your movement distance, so you won't actually be able to move any further. So even though your jump distance becomes crazy, and I let you do guys do silly things like jump on roofs, and in this instance, you would still you would still get half movement. So you could you can jump, jump, like, you jump twice as far as you could before while carrying a kid, which was not great. So you, and you, yeah, so you <laughs> jump half of that. So, like, what's your strength score? Let's see. Um, my strength is like beast. Yeah, I'm like eighteen. <laughs> eighteen. Mm -hmm. So you could jump like twenty feet. So you could jump like an extra five feet. Oh wow. Well. <clears throat> <clears throat> I mean, it's still pretty good. That's not bad, actually. I think I'll do that anyway, because fuck this fucking place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you piggybacking him while jumping? In yeah, I have him, like, piggybacked. Just have the dramatic, like, still of his legs flying in the air behind you. Mm hmm <laughs> 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 oh, hey. Kawabunga! <laughs> <laughs> You gonna cannonball? Cannonball! Ugh, it's probably all muddy and stuff. Which is why it's a cannonball, because you can make mud splashes. Okay. So, boing, splash! Uh, <laughs> so that is your... Where did you go? I went over here. She, she's hiding in the bodies. <laughs> oh, I see now. Is that your movement? You still have your action, if you want to use it? Ooh. Um... I'm going to try another Eldritch Blast because cool. Okay, so um, you can make can't two Eldritch Blast attacks. Oh, cool. And uh, each one of them does a D10. Okay. Oh, snap! Oh! Ooh. Uh, so, that's... Get that's, 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 that's 12. Who are you throwing it at? I'm throwing it at this guy. Okay, so that is 12 points of damage to that guy. <laughs> And then you have another attack you can use. Yes! Uh, 14 hits. 
Yes. I'm going to do it on the same guy. Another three points of damage, so 15. So two orbs of red necrotic energy whip out of busters. Do you, like, throw them, like, out of your hands? You point, and you're like, finger guns. Like, mm-hmm. you do you show? I, I throw them up. Okay, so... <laughs> Oh, like, bleh, like throw them up? Yeah, like, <laughs> bleh. So, like, Buster Hawks and Eldritch Loogie at this guy. Oh. <laughs> Two of them smack onto him and begin to eat into his flesh. <laughs> oh, oh, damage you! <laughs> Insult <laughs> and injury! <laughs> Cool, uh, and leaps halfway across the room while carrying an unconscious uh, boy. Uh, Chris, it is your turn again. You are still uh, having an unpleasant time. Yeah, I'll be all right. Oh wait, is is Bane a concentration spell? Uh, concentration. Mm-hmm. That dude needs to make some con saves. Here's the game. One, two, three, four. Ah, PS, 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 PS. Yeah, he maintains it. Okay. Uh, do I know which one of them cast it on me? Ah, uh, this guy right here. Okay. I'll leave him alone. He's way back there. I'm just going to scoot up here. Be close to my new friends. <laughs> um... And yeah, just gonna do some light stabbing. Awesome. Oh, well, that one. Yeah. Uh, so I need to just roll a d4 <laughs> for the 16. That's the only one it could possibly make a difference for. Okay. Okay, Ooh. so the, the first attack hits. Okay. <clears throat> the other two miss. And I will do a stab. I guess so this, to this guy. Uh, this whichever. It doesn't this matter. This one. You have to pick. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Why I'll not? pick for you. Okay. <laughs> Chris rushes forward, and Chris, you can feel the lethargy in your limbs as you you whip out strikes that you know normally would hit. Um, you almost feel like getting pulled back, your muscles aching, your body just not quite feeling right. Your tongue thick in your mouth, almost like you have a fever. Um, So only one of your quick strikes hits. Um, That is Chris's turn, which will make it Joyden's turn. Can I tell uh, who is um, uh, who cast Bane? Um, This guy did different hand waving than the other ones, so. Okay. Uh, Then I want to attack that person again. Cool. Um, before I do that, can I try to sneak? To... There's nowhere to hide at this point. All right. Then in that case, forget that. I will attack the person that Chris just attacked. Okay, cool. You might also want to move. Uh, 14 will hit. Awesome. So if we can... Uh, uh, 16... 28. Uh, Camps on Okay. Another icicle arrow gets whizzes past your ear, Chris. You can hear it like whistle, but also like crackle as it almost like like you feel the breeze of it go past your hair, uh, and it thuds into this guy and begins freezing a big chunk into his chest. Uh, did you want to move? Yeah, I'll move forward to just here, uh, right there. Okay. Layla. Oh, Layla is going to move forward, bringing her friend behind, and she's going to use... Wrong friend. Uh, this. Oh, that's... Oops, wrong demon, my bad. To, uh... <laughs> wow. She's going to cast Spiritual Weapon over by this guy. Um, a one's not going to hit. It's not going to hit, but your Spiritual Weapon's on the on the board now. Can I move it? No. Oh, um, yeah. And then I want to hit this guy with the sword. Hit him with okay. the, hit him with my S word. Uh, Your S word. Classic move. Wait. Uh, an eighteen will hit. Taste my fire. Fuck. For five points of damage. 
Here we go. Uh, and then I think that will end my turn. You're just not rolling well on damage with that sword. I'm not. I never have. I barely <laughs> hit with the damn thing. Uh, so Layla, with one hand, summons forward her... Um... You use a shield, right? Don't you carry a shield? Um, I, I think you actually like bring Fidelius up and point it over toward that guy, and the spiritual weapon f flares into life behind you, and then in the same motion with the sword, swipe across with it. Um, the sword itself is like acting as a holy symbol for you. And I think I have uh, Ira draped across like my shield arm, like over the shoulder. <laughs> Sure. And I'm just like, I can barely walk, guys. Uh, Kelric? Um, not three. Me. But I don't want to get too far ahead, so I'm going to... Put your buddies over here with you. Okay, so that's your movement. Do you have anything else you want to do? Well, most of my stuff is concentration, so I need to... I can't. Because ha I'm already concentrating on one thing, and I really want that thing to stay up. Do you want to move again, or you just want to wait there? Uh, I think I'm going to stall. Uh, I, I don't want to move my second one because I don't know if there's any other people in this room. Okay. That brings us to these fellows. Um, they are both going to try to pincer staff Chris. Leave Chris uh, alone. 14. Probably not going to hit. And a 13. Probably not going to hit. And then they'll both do their bite attacks. Nope. Oh, natural 20. Um, so one of them manages to bite into you, Chris. They both leap forward with their staffs, the claws clamping down. And as you parry those two blows away, you see them lunge forward with their jaws. One of them you manage to turn to the side, and it just rakes across the, your armor. But the other one clamps down hard on your forearm with its mouth. And you feel teeth sink into your arm, jagged and rid like ripping chunks of your flesh out. Blech. Nine Aww. points of damage. How dare you. Uh, that <laughs> one's gonna try to pincer staff. Oh, that's the bite. That's fine. Uh, won't hit Curtis. So that runs up behind Curtis, clicking its crab claw staff and snashing out with its teeth. But Curtis, uh -huh. is, with his new blade out, is dancing backwards elegantly. Uh, and then it's your turn, Curtis. All right. True. Wait, does that mean that every that time Curtis swings, it does make that, like, sound? Yeah, it's like, whizzling, whizzling. it's kind of like a lightsaber. <laughs> it's making, like, a lightsaber noise. We... Uh, a 22 will hit. All right. Cool. <clears throat> For nine more points of damage. <laughs> okay. So Curtis dances back away from the creature, lunges back in, and slashes across the thing with Mythcarver again, this time opening a wound up on its chest. And Curtis, like, it, it feels... Like, it just kind of feels good. You feel very dashing all of a sudden, and very, like, aha! Ho like, very Earl Flynn. <laughs> like, like, it just has this, like, effect on you to, to suddenly be good at something you've never really done before. I'm good at something. Wow! <laughs> Buster, look, I'm good at something. <laughs> what? Uh, speaking oh, of Buster, uh, it is your turn. You being good? Uh, I, mean, uh, <laughs> I need to stop being petty because we might die. Anyway, <laughs> uh, like that uh, would stop Buster. <laughs> I'm I don't think it would stop Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be petty till my anyway. I'm going to try to um lend a hand over here and uh do my little eldritch can trip on Yeah, I'm gonna huck my loogers. Alright, go ahead and make two attack rolls for me. Okay. Okay. Win. Uh twenty one will hit. Okay. And I'll put the other one there. Yes. Uh Wait, oh. Uh, 11 does not hit, so unfortunately, uno point of damage. Uh, wow! It just, just get back out of the way, and you just sort of, the, the loogie just sort of skid, skids past its uh, uh, scales, just doing a little, like, passing graze. Damn it. Uh, I assume you want to continue to carry this lad. Yes, I would like to keep jumping. 
Uh, so you yes. need to like, whoop, sorry. Oh, you want to go over oh. there with him? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I was moving the kid and I clicked, and when I clicked, I grabbed your token on accident. Oh. <laughs> Buster teleported for a second. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, Chris? Gonna keep stabbing. Just keep stabbing. Yeah, you know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, don't forget your D4. Oh, that one's not so good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, so roll 2d4 for me. One for each of the rolls that may hit. Can I just roll them together? And... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, first one hits, second one misses. So you get one hit for seven. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you guys can all see, like, the effects of this spell, like, really starting to wear on Chris. Like, she's breathing heavy. Um, her sword movements aren't as clean or neat. Like, whatever this creature's done to her, uh, she is, she's physically struggling at this point. Uh, got your turn, Chris? I'm fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fine. You no. Chris, are you sweating? What we what we this is even worse. I don't think I've ever seen her sweat time. before. What the fuck? Never, never sweat before. That's new. I, I want to attack uh, okay. the top one next to Curtis. Uh oh. That uh, a 10 will not hit, unfortunately. Arrow f- mm. flings wide as the creature dodges down away from Curtis's blow. Nah, oh, what a jerk. I'm um, mm-hmm. going to move a little away, and that's it. Okay. Uh, which means it is now Layla. Um, Layla is gonna do some rotato potato around this guy, and she's gonna get in rotato. Between... Rotato. She's gonna get in between these guys, and she's gonna word of radiance against both of them. Woo! You are a divine word. I don't think like we ever cast a spell from Rio. Uh, mm-hmm. Each creature of your choice that you can see within range must succeed on a constitution saving throw. And I will tell you the word she utters. Hold, please. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's going to be a book? the bigliest word. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. this That's the wrong Shales guy. Shales okay. and Celestial. So, I mean, if she speaks Celestial, you'll know what she says. Scandalous. Uh, they are both going to fail, so go ahead and do your 1d6 of radiant damage. Son of the bell being like the bleeping sound, so you're like, you ring noise. What is <laughs> the your range on this? Five feet. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan flinches okay. react- reflexively. <laughs> uh, so two. <laughs> um, and that's a cantrip. You still have your um, bonus action. Your yeah, spiritual weapon. So I would like to use spiritual weapon. Uh, this guy, so same guy. Yeah, same guy. Okay, go for it. Fuck. A, a ten will not hit, unfortunately. So a bell <laughs> chimes. The creatures recoil back from Layla, but as they do, the lipstick swings and the creature dodges away. Of no, once she does this, her eyes go solid white and she has a bright light come out of them. <laughs> Brawl. Open your mouth. It's just come out of your mouth. Um. Uh, okay. Kelric, it is your turn. Uh, Kelric will cast uh, Fairy Fire. Uh, to and and I'm I'm sorry, I'm gonna hit Layla with this too, but you know, deck saves. Um, to like center, like here-ish, so I can get these two guys. Uh, in it. Hang on. Let me double check, make sure that's not concentration. That's cool. That's not concentration. <gasps> Okay. I think they're called perfect spell tokens or something like that. Token pack, hero characters, Christmas, animated wings. Uh, Explorer's Guide, (laughs) Player's Handbook, Village to Pillage, Water Effects. Where are my spell token things. Where did I put those? Ah, fuck it. Whatever. Okay. Uh, I was going to put a cool sparkly effect on the map, but I can't find it. Aww. Do I need to make a deck save? 
Yeah. Uh, and beat a 15. Alright, I'm gonna give it a shot. No big deal if I don't pass. Okay, I pass. Uh, these guys are both whips. So, first one got an 11. Second one got a 15. Uh, beats it, beats it. Okay. So, <laughs> this guy is now all glittery. Yeah. Uh, I figure it might help it bane a little bit. We'll see. Yeah, what are these called? Well, you get advantage on the on that one. Yeah. rolls against him, yeah. Perfect spell pack. That's what they're called. I was thinking about centering it like here and hitting all three, but that was like, yeah, but if Chris gets hit by it, that'll just make everything. <laughs> uh, no. Cool. So there's a, an explosion of glitter, and the most of these creatures managed to dodge out of the way, including Layla, but one of them is now covered in sparkles. That are shaped like leaves. Lovely. Yeah, I have all these cool, like, spell things that I never get to use. Like, look at this motherfucker. Ooh. Yeah. Great. I got a... I got a hand? What is this? It's gonna touch you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ooh. Oh, no, it's that one... It's that one Zelda level. I hate that level. Grab mm -hmm. the booty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, that makes it their turn. Uh, they're both gonna continue their assaults upon Chris. So, first one, staff. Nope. Second one, staff. Uh, natural 20. So, Chris, you will take nine points of damage, God. and you are grappled. So That's one of them out. snaps out with the uh, pincer staff. You dodge out of the way, but as you lean back out of the way, the other one, almost in a planned maneuver, grasps right where your throat kicks out. And it, you feel this thing clamp around your neck. No. Um, they are both going to try to bite you then. Uh, 22? Uh, that will hit. And a 7. It's fa feast or famine with these guys. Okay. Uh, so nine, 9 points of damage from the staff wrapping around your throat. He then yanks you down in toward him, and you just feel his teeth sink into the top of your forehead. Uh, you take 4 points of damage. Oh, what? Why my face? Uh, the Bunch one fighting Curtis will then attempt to pincer Curtis. I'd like to see it try. 21 to hit. <laughs> it's right. Ow. Okay. Ah! It snaps around your neck. You take 8 points of damage from the staff, and then Fuck. it rips you forward and tries to bite you in the face. Ah. Uh, 23 on the bite, so 5 yeah. points of damage from that. So 13 total. So it snaps, snaps the clamps around your throat, rips you down, sinks its teeth into your... your uh, side of your face, you can feel like the jagged, like shark teeth rip up under your jaw. It's an unpleasant experience, and then it, it is, is your turn. Well, let's see if I can fling it from here. Swing my my sword wildly at it. Sure, uh, seventeen will definitely hit. <laughs> Swinging with abandon. Okay. So it bites you in the face. You just, like, whack it over the top of the head with a sword. You feel it bite in and, like, hollow bones crack, but oh. the creature is still standing. Um, and you can feel it start to drag you backwards. Uh-oh. Don't want to take me. It does need to make a con save to maintain its concentration. Thank you. Uh, it's fine. Okay. So it's trying to drag uh, Curtis back back up into the tunnel. Great if it now. goes past my thing, does it get an attack opportunity? No, it doesn't get attack opportunity, unfortunately. Thanks. Um, which makes it Buster's turn, and I got your name right. Where's my boy? <laughs> Where's Globby? I just uh, realized my son is gone. Still haven't sensed him, yeah. What the fuck? I, I thought I sent him down here. Where is he? You haven't seen him. He, you haven't come back here, within right? range of your telepathic connection. My goodness. What? Where did he go? 
<laughs> so, suddenly, Buster just he stops what he's doing. And... <laughs> he just drops the kid. Wait, <laughs> where's my boy? Can't you summon him when we're done? No. Where's my boy? <laughs> I think we have more important things at hand. He just shakes himself out of it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just <laughs> gonna do what I was gonna do until I realized I didn't have my boy. I'm gonna do another stinky Eldritch Blast. This time to... Okay. Uh, we'll have advantage on the attack against him. Ooh! I like advantage. Okay. Uh, let me get the boy. Wait, does this mean that Buster has some severe acid reflux? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's necrotic damage, so there's something going on in Buster's gut that is just not... A 19 will definitely hit. That's just not good. Like, fucking... He vomits blood that melts people. He fucking hawks loogies that... That fly? God damn it. How many hit points does this guy have left? If fuckered up. I'm gonna give him 20, because that sounds about right. <laughs> and, uh, can I do a second one? Yes. And you still oh. have advantage. Ooh, still have advantage! Mmm! Mmm! 17 will hit. Mmm! Buster's just doing that thing where he spits it through the gap in his front teeth. Just... Frills <laughs> <laughs> out. <laughs> I just, yeah, just like like stinking filth just begins to eat its way into his flesh. Um, <laughs> did you want to move, Buster? You sounded yes. like Danny DeVito playing the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes. <laughs> Got it. Uh, I'm partially based him off of uh, Danny DeVito from <laughs> just <laughs> any character Danny DeVito. <laughs> just actually, he's kind of just. I, you know, I was thinking about this the other night. I like to like cast actors as like who would play our characters in the movie, and I was and I was like, Danny DeVito would play Buster. Yeah, <laughs> yep. he's just a human Buster. <laughs> Can I offer you an egg through these trying times? <laughs> um, Chris, it's your turn. Oh my god. That's perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna... <laughs> dab him. Dab. Oh, I get advantage, right? Yes, if you attack the guy that that she cast the spell on this guy with the yeah. eyeball on him. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Uh, a 20 will definitely hit. There's no re need to roll the d4. Mm -hmm. Just go and, roll, go and roll damage on that first mm -hmm. attack. Because mm -hmm. I think you're probably gonna kill him. Yeah, he did. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> um, gonna... So mm -hmm. we will use your other attacks on the other fellow because uh, you... Slip forward with the rapier. Uh, you're still, you still have like the thing clamped around your throat, but you just sort of hook it with one hand to pull yourself to the side, like the pommel of your rapier. You pull to the side, whip over toward the other one, and manage to stab him through the ear or through the hole in the side of his head that you think functions as an ear. It slips in, slips out, and he just sort of convulses and collapses. Yay! Delicious. Uh, and then you have the other one. So yeah. you do not have advantage on the other one. So, should I re-roll? Uh, we can use the nineteen, so that'll hit. Mm -hmm. uh, but go ahead and roll me one more, just like flat attack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. you get you get two hits on him. Nice. Eight. I think you'll probably kill him too. You do. I'm so glad that you're on our side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you managed to pull the the clamp that he has around your throat off to the side enough to attack the other one whip the rapier back and slice almost with the last like five inches of it across his throat he gurgles and lets go of the staff to try to grip his throat and once he is undefended the rapier flicks out into his sinus cavity stabs him in the face cool. uh, um, there's another one dead can i grab the the pincher that he has uh if you want to sheath your sword and pick it up sure 
It's a two-handed weapon. It's like not something you're going to be able to wield in one hand, but you can pick it up and carry it. Mm. Well, I actually already have one in my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. The last time we fought them. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna... How far... How far can I go? 40 feet. I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna just casually walk on... Uh, well, not casually, but I'm just gonna get all close to this dude. Okay. Be like, where's he going? While whistling from, yeah. Okay, uh, so Chris murders two dudes really quickly and then rushes across the cavern to the other one. Uh, Joyden. Uh, you know what I'm about to do? About to get it all up in that boat, hey! <laughs> that will hit. Ooh. And you will definitely get sneak attack. Oh, yeah. 17, what was that, 22? 22? Yeah. <clears throat> um... Yeah, he does not look good. Uh, Jordan's icicle pierces his eye. The eye freezes and is like the socket and bursts. Uh, and he just has like fish eye goop running down his face. Uh, he Ugh. gurgles in anger and in pain. Uh, he doesn't have a brain freeze. He does not look <laughs> good at this point. Uh, Layla. Oh, did you want to move, Jordan? I'm sorry. I forget movement's a thing. <laughs> No. Okay, uh, Layla, go ahead. I guess Jordan doesn't. Uh, Layla gestures with Fidelius to, to move her lipstick over, okay. and she's gonna stab him. Did I just hear somebody singing? That's yes. my mom. Opera? Oh, okay. <laughs> she's a uh, she is an opera singer, and yeah. Fuck. <laughs> okay. You hear? Sorry. You hear? Some Sorry, of this. <laughs> Your dice suck. <laughs> yes, they do. And then she's gonna just like. Drop the sword down. Not let's still on her hand, but she's gonna drop the sword down and save like flame him. Swing it through the air. Yeah, like. Whoosh, whoosh. Uh, seventeen. Fuck. <laughs> uh. Dodges both of your attacks. I am sorry. Uh, did you want to move, Layla? Uh, yeah. I, I'm just gonna set a rule. You guys just tell me when your turn is done, so I stop fucking forgetting about things. I'm gonna move with <laughs> Ira 15 feet this way. Okay. Yeah, just house rule. And then <laughs> I am done. Uh, this guy gives up on kidnapping Curtis, drops the staff, and is just gonna bolt. He's gonna use his action to disengage and his movement to start rushing up to the tunnel. Aha! Uh -huh. so and he's okay, running away. So, yeah. Uh, suddenly, your windpipe is released, Curtis. <gasps> Oof. Uh, and then it's your turn. Uh, and he's fleeing down the tunnel in front of you. So Can I take an attack of opportunity, or is he gone? He, he oh. used his action to disengage. You don't get an attack of opportunity, but he's only, like, 30 feet away from you. So you could, if you have something with range, you're, you can use it. Um, I just got skipped, but I'm just going to move 30 feet, so. Oh. Let's see. I'm gonna... <laughs> okay. It's because I click things too excitedly. <laughs> That's what I say. Okay. Uh, uh, so if you have a ranged attack, you can you can use it, but like you're not gonna. You'd have to run up to him to swing at him with Myth Carver. All right. If you want to uh, chase him down? You can. Nah, I think I will actually be good. Let's see if this does anything instead. Uh, dissonant whispers. A wisdom save. See if I can reach him. Uh, I got an eleven. So he he the whispers echo up the the passage. Catch up to him, and as the sound reaches him, you see him twitch and fall dead. Whoa! Yay! What did you say to him? I told him he smelled. <laughs> <laughs> I told him his mother misses him. Oh. You stink! <laughs> I'm coming, mother. Oh. Uh, that is all of these creatures dead. Um, yes. You guys probably have another three minutes before that wall of thorns is gone. Escape. Uh, we're gonna. This is. Is this the entrance to the cave or whatever? This down here. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is after we all get out. Um, I'm going to assume that we I don't have a lot of time left, so instead of waiting for the three minutes to peter out, 
I'm gonna drop it, and I'm going to cast a uh, wall of spikes. Spike growth. I'm gonna cast spike growth on that passage area. Okay, so try to just buy more time. Yeah, because I can hold it for left. ten more minutes. <laughs> Were there three? Were there three guys? Uh, when a creature moves in that area, it takes two, four. Okay. Um. So you guys are rushing back to the boat at this point. Mm-hmm. Here's oh, yeah. a crazy thought. You know, we could not do that and just murder everybody in that cave for just uh, yeah. No, because <laughs> no. the other half has spellcasters in it. Yeah, but you know, range and things. Spellcasters. Like, as long as we like put the bodies out of harm's way. There's always tomorrow. Later, so, later. Then we can eradicate them properly. Yeah, we never found a uh, Buster's son. Thank you, Abby. I'm sure never he's found. fine. Was he back on the boat? We get to the boat, we're like, Get ready to go! Get ready to go! Get ready to go! Go, 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 go! <laughs> the engines! <laughs> get the fuck out! The engines. The I know. Was like, what, what about tomorrow? Are we gonna kill these things tomorrow? We have Layla. Well, I think if we you stay die here, again? they would find us. I don't, I don't think tomorrow would be the option. It would. We have like we have three injured today. people. Wait, wait, we have four injured people because Kelly doesn't know. <laughs> and and I'm pretty sure I'm running really low on spell slots. <laughs> I would not be very useful. So as you guys rush out of the mouth of the cave, Keldrick turns and smacks the staff into the ground again, and the the vines and and things around the rock that sort of covers the top lip of this little hole grow over into like a tight net, closing off the entrance to the cave. Um, You can hear rushing of the wet sounding footsteps coming up behind you um, (sighs) as he seals it off, and from what I understand, at least, you guys take off running toward the the ship, um, dragging these um, <laughs> the dragging these unconscious people and uh, Iris' body along with you. Um, Papa May sees you coming, senses the urgency of you guys rushing, and they begin reeling in the anchor for the boat. Um, the boat, the anchor is reeled in. the The sails are cast. Um, the mother rushes over to get her unconscious son, um, but you guys are back on the ship, uh, ship in safety, um, and Papa May turns the boat and begins to pull away. Uh, you guys have maybe three, four minutes um, before, like, from the time it takes you to get to the cave, before they break through uh, and begin chasing after you. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, three minutes is enough to get somewhere. <laughs> Else. But... Does, he still have, does he still have that crossbow? He does, yeah. Yeah, he has it like on a sling, sling over his back as he's working. I need the that. Chair. Yeah, get that ready. He, he, he nods. Um, you know, Mother May is is uh fawning over her son. Uh you have these people with tadpoles swimming around on the side of their skin and big weird blisters. Um and Ira's body. Um no, no, no. There's a, a long moment of like tense anticipation as the boat begins to move upriver again. Um, and as you guys speed away with as fast as the boat can sail upriver, um, as you guys speed away, a minute passes. Two minutes pass. Three minutes pass. You guys are covered in, yeah, uh, fish entrails and scales and muck and mud from the cave, um, wounds from the battle itself. All of you look really rough. Um, But three minutes pass, four minutes, and I think it's probably at about the six, seven minute mark where you guys start to realize that they don't seem to be pursuing you. Oof. Oh, thank God. (laughs) Where's my son? Are we back good? Are they gone? What? I thought you covered pretty much the entire cave. We didn't go in the back. You you guys barely made it through the entrance of, like, the second room. 
Yeah, well, then we got like disintegrated. Yeah. Oh, I like, didn't know there was more. Oh. Yeah, like you went into that first chamber. Joyden went into like the big main chamber. Got knocked unconscious. Layla ran in there to try to save Joyden. Got killed, and then Ira ran in there and committed suicide. <laughs> Buster flipped it off, but that's about as far as he got. <laughs> Alright, so yep. Layla's on the deck. She's uh, got Ira laid out in front of her, and she's kind of, you know, cleaning Ira's body up, like, wiping the blood off of her, and, you know, tears still streaming. Mm-hmm. Are you out of spell slots, Layla? And well, she, she tried to revive her <laughs> earlier. She doesn't respond. She continues cleaning up Ira, and then she pulls out her bag, and she starts digging through her bag, and she pulls out a box at what seems like the bottom of her bag. Uh, she opens it, and inside the box is like... Um, it's like a little makeup case that's covered in black. Um, she pulls out a tube of lipstick, sets it down. She's sitting on the boat. Um, she pulls out some, uh, what looks like a, like an eyeshadow palette like thing. She sets it down. She pulls out some incense and she sets it down. Uh, a bag that kind of makes a tink tink sound. She sets it down. And uh, uh, she picks up the uh, box with the mirror, and she puts on lipstick, um, black lipstick. She sets the box down, lights some incense, uh, picks the box back up, um, opens up this uh, round part in the box. Uh, and it's like a, it's like one of those powder poof things. She dusts it over her face and over her chest. And then she raises it over Ira's body and she taps it and light just kind of like falls down on top of her. Like little streams of light. She hits the other side. She goes up and down the body. Mm -hmm. Um... And then she opens up the palette. She rubs a little bit of this black powder on her finger. And she puts it over Ira's lips right here. Like this. There's still light shining on Ira. um, And she leans down and gives Ira a kiss on the forehead and the light goes out. She reaches over to the bag and pulls out two copper coins and puts them over Ira's eyes. And she starts wrapping Ira. Do you help, Layla? She doesn't respond. Don't worry, helps. After he does it. Hmm. You're out. Then you hear a little bit of this. Like really, really soft. And she starts singing a song. Mm-hmm. Mm. Fuck. Pull out my pan flute, a thing that no one has seen for months, and I'm gonna play along. Mm-hmm. Mm. I would. I want to play something too. Mm. Do you guys want to take a short rest, or what's the plan? Okay. Also, somebody's eating chips. 
I mean, M&M's. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is... Tell Rick to wrap his arm around me, like, comforting me. Uh, but he's also, he's also crying, and it's a hot mess. Casting. <laughs> okay. So her corpse will be uh, preserved for the next ten days. Yeah. Hmm... So Layla performs what what appears to be like a burial ritual, like preparing uh, Ira's body to be interred. Um, Surprise, guys. That was my plan this week. Mm. So sad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and a while... Uh, while she, when she finishes that and and sort of prepares the body, uh, there's a solemn moment that passes over all of you. And and you guys want to take a short rest? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. I can't hear you, Jordan. Sorry, I was thinking. I was saying. I think that would be a probes. Um. And it, at some point, I think Papa May comes over and realizes that that Ira is dead. Um, and you guys also get an extra D six to your hit to recover because of the song rest. Um, so it, he like kind of comes over. He looks crestfallen at all of you and and, and sort of looks around um, a bit confused, like he doesn't really know what to do uh, about it, and then like sort of just walks off and goes back to the ship, uh, or tending the ship. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, Out of character, do we have a bag of holding? No. Yes. No. Wait, we do. We did. Yeah, we thought I think we do. I was gonna say, can we uh, put Ira in there now that she has been preserved for ten days? Oh. Body bag of holding. Yeah, it doesn't exactly seem like a good <laughs> spot to, you know, wanna... bury her, so to speak. I'll... Yeah. Do you guys have a bag of holding? Or yeah, we, no, yeah. we we like put in money for it. I remember a, we all uh, we yeah we all put in for one. So we all like all together we have one. So who actually carries it? Um, I ain't uh, see me. Yeah, I thought it was Chris. Okay, so Chris takes out the bag of holding. Um, you guys place like. It's sort of awkward because the bag has to expand. Like it, you have to like pull it out um, along the drawstrings. It like magically expands, and then you slide uh, Ira's body into it. Um, and she is sure, currently like, really weird to everyone the around. On the boat. Yeah, well, it looks weird to you guys too. Oh, um, yeah. But Ira's body is currently interred inside the bag of holding and preserved by uh, Layla. Kelrick's going to start laying out the wounded in a more comfortable manner than however he was carrying them or dropping them before. Sure. Yeah, so you have you have uh, two sort of unconscious people with um, these softball-sized blisters with tadpoles swimming around inside of them. Some of them have burst uh, in the fight, and like the weird, viscous, like green fluid came out of them. Little creatures come flopping out. Um, the description of gentle repose. Everybody cried. Susie, what else do you want? I was just mm-hmm. curious if you guys watched that <laughs> one. I was like, it's so sad, but I had to have something mm-hmm. good. It was very pretty. It was beautiful. Um, I'm trying to and, break my heart here. And Kelrick's face is a red snuffling mess. If, if, you're, if you're asking it's me if I'm going to cry on stream, I, I need to pay for that. I mean, we have, uh, out of character, we've had a week to mourn. Yeah, that's true. Still hurts. I mean, you got to, you had to finish mourning yourself first. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. That one wasn't 
Uh, well, it didn't last. Okay. So, dude, Denny, I love you, but if you're huh? gonna eat M&Ms, you gotta mute yourself. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm done. Um, I didn't realize it was that loud. <laughs> I I have like a thing for chewing noises. I can't stand hearing people chew. It drives me crazy. Uh-huh. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, ASMR is over now. Yeah. Um, I don't um, want to really bother Layla because I don't want to bother anyone right now. Um, can I make a medicine check to see if I can if I know how to deal with these pustules? Sure. Uh, yeah, like, they need to be lanced, basically. Um, they need to be cut out of them. Um, which is just gonna take time. Uh, uh and, and can I start doing that? Clean tools. You need yeah, a, yeah. You need a help? You need a hand with poking stuff? I'm all uh, about poking things. Only if you move it in very specific ways. Well, be tell very me how careful. to do it, and I'll do the good stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the good stabbing. <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll start doing that and, uh, using, like, if whenever I'm finished with one, I'll cast yeah. Cure Wounds on them after. Okay. It, it doesn't wake any of them up. Um, like, the, they don't, they, they seem to, to have something that's keeping them in this unconscious state. Um, the most you get any out of any of them, I assume you pull out, like, a dagger or a sharp knife of some kind. Uh, sterilize it with fire and begin cutting these these boils out and these little you guys ever seen a lamprey? Mm-hmm. Yeah. These little like nasty sort of eel like fish with teeth like circular. Do we have mouths. a jar? Can I put these in a jar? <laughs> <laughs> probably. They probably have like an empty vial from a health potion or something. Yeah, um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put these in those. Um but no I, I meant I mostly can I'm not expecting them to wake up from being cured. I'm mostly doing it to help negate the damage that I do when yeah. lancing things. But you do you do take the creatures that are growing inside of their bodies out, at least, and then um, you could throw one of them or a couple of them into a jar. Um, if they, they seem to, like, shrivel up and dry out and die. Um, and the cure wound seems to put them in, a like, a stable condition, but they, they don't wake up. Can I cast a spell magic on them? Sure, if you want. Yeah, let's you have do the that. spell slot left. I, I I do. It's the last one. Uh, oh, you would only can you put the spell magic in the chat for me? I think you can only target one person at a time, and there's mm-hmm. a man and a woman. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just. Can how do I do that? Do I press the gear? Just click on the name of the spell. Um. Oh. There we go. Uh, choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range. So yeah, you could cast it on one of them. Well, wouldn't the sleep be a magical effect? I don't know. But you could dispel it- the magical effect on one of them if it is. Dang it! Because like, I was like, well, if it's the same magical effect, maybe I could just cancel that effect instead of... It, it would too, It's like two separate instances, though. So. Okay. You, you could um... cast it on one of them to wake them up. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh. Okay, well, I guess. There's a, a woman with like auburn colored hair. Uh, I've assuming you guys put like blankets or something over them because they're both naked. Um, there's a woman with like auburn covered hair. Um, she she looks. They both look sickly, like um, cheeks sunken, thin, kind of frail. And there, there's a man with like uh, shaggy, sort of sandy blonde colored hair. Um, they they look like uh, they look like people who have like slowly been starving to death. Uh, okay, I'm going to do it on the one that looked like they spent less time in the pit. Um, if that's possible. I don't know. Like they, it doesn't look like they they really are both in about the same condition. Okay, I was trying to like pick the one that I thought would be o- more okay with being awake. Yeah. Uh, okay. I. Uh, Evens, gents, odds, ladies. Evens, gents. You cast the spell magic on the man, and he... <gasps> his eyes sort of flitter open, and he 
he tries to like move he tries to like uh get yeah. up or, or stumble he's, back but he can't like yeah. he's, his limbs are too weak he can't sit up uh so he just sort of blinks and looks terrified for a few seconds and then looks around and realizes that it's not horrifying fish monsters standing over him and like calms down a bit um but like he's he's very weak like um you hear him trying to talk but his voice is like a raspy whisper at best just 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 rest for now uh you're you're in a, a safe fair place um try to rest if you can um and i try to give him some water yeah, he like uh he tries to drink it but like coughs most of it back up that's fine mm. the attempt is there well we'll well i'll try to make them comfortable as i can sure uh for the next while i mean i think i think kilbert needs a rest <laughs> i think everyone needs a rest it's been a long day yeah um God, who seems the most like put together at this point? Like, wh- which one of you guys seems to be like holding it together the best? I think, sure. <laughs> interestingly enough, I think Chris took the least amount of damage. No, okay. I think he means emotionally. Yeah, I mean both. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Papa May comes up to you, Chris, uh, and asks, um, like he says, uh, "Hey, I, hey, hey, you saved me, boy." Um, he looks down at your at the like a bag on your hip, and he goes, hey, "You lost, you lost your friend, then." We pretty tough time in there. He he nods and he goes, "Um, sh- shall we run or are we going back?" Uh, <laughs> there was something <laughs> weird about them. They're, they're in the wrong place. <laughs> Um, I, well, would, would I have had a chance to talk this over with everyone else? I know Layla wants to go back and murder. I mean, Jordan was arguing to not leave. Jordan yeah, like, I also didn't want to leave. Jordan was like, let's set a fucking choke point here and finish this. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I don't know. You could tell him, like, uh, yes, or you could say, like, we gotta wait for our friend. Like, you I don't know. Um, I think if we're going to go back, we should go back soon. I'd rather not spend a lot of time dilly dallying out here. Uh, he nods and uh, he's like, uh, I- "I'm gonna stop the boat and uh, set a watch." Yeah. Uh, he nods and he goes back to the ship he starts turning it uh in the river to to bring it up near the bank so that he can throw out the anchor i guess i'll tell uh layla and joyden that we're uh probably gonna go back <laughs> layla looks up she still has she's she stopped like making sobbing sounds but she's still got tears streaming and she just nods I pat you on the back. She leans into it a little. Oh, I give you a hug then. She leans into you. Oh. Uh, Jordan just says, uh, I think if we go back, we should be prepared and rested. Yeah, I don't think we should go back today. But, uh... We're stopping the boat, and so I think we're gonna rest here for the night and go back and see if we can uh, uh, clean out I, the rest I, of the den. And I don't, I don't know if anybody heard, but Kelric did say something about them being in the wrong place. He yeah, they weren't supposed to be here. Yeah, I didn't quite hear you, Jordan. Oh, I was saying. Uh, I would want to hear uh, everyone else's opinion about going back. Yeah, well, we can talk it over tonight, but for now, we're camped here, I think. So, just let you know. First watch.
Okay. The um, <clears throat> a watch is set. Um, sort of a, a mournful silence falls over the ship. <clears throat> Kelric, uh, if you're keeping an eye on the two injured people, uh, at some point over the course of the night, they begin to stir a bit. Um, it seems like maybe the woman is slowly starting to wake up on her own. Um, the man sort of will open his eyes every once in a while in like a panic and, and glance around and then sort of weakly fall back asleep. Um, <clears throat> but um, the evening passes, washes rotate. Um, the river is is quiet. Uh, no other boats seem to pass you by, which is odd. It's the first night you spent on the river with it being, you know, several hours long like this without seeing another ship go by. It's um, quiet too quiet? Kind of. Like, there's no... There's been boats going up and down the river. You've passed a lot of ships. Everything from military ships from from the hell riders um people on the road nearby um you know cargo ships like the one you're on um small boats with just like fishermen or people traveling on them things like that um and, and you see none of that over the course of the next six eight hours while you guys uh, rest so you do get a long rest but it is sort of an odd um there's no sound of insects it, there's no fish splashing in the water it's just quiet Mm -hmm. All night, and no other ships go by. Um, and it's the lack of traffic more than the animals, I think, that would stand out. Um, oh. The sun around probably 5, 5.30 in the morning, the sun begins to peak over the horizon. Um, everybody sort of begins to stir, having had an uncomfortable and sorrowful night's sleep. Um, but you guys get your long rest, and come morning, what is the plan? Oh, are we leveled up now? Yeah, you guys go ahead and level up, actually. So you guys should all be level 8 now. I think most of you guys get an ability score improvement at this, uh -huh. uh, this level. I don't know if anybody's going to take just the ability score improvement or a feat. 